Collective. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Today we are going to do a pick a card reading using little voodoo dolls. I love these little voodoo dolls. I got them from um, Charlie Brown Farms and I believe Little Rock, California and they're super cute because they each have their own meaning. So we're going to do three different piles. So go ahead and pick the one that stands out to you the most. The first little voodoo doll, she's a little princess. Look how cute she is. And she is a fairy godmother. Oops, not a princess, a fairy godmother. <laughs> and she says, I will make all of your wishes come true. So this is for pile number one. And then pile number two, we have the wizard and, oops, Oh, the Wiz, the homie, the Wiz. <laughs> Gives me like, you know, Harry Potter vibes and everything. This one says, if I could read it, man, it's tiny. Okay, let's see. I will help you embrace your inner sorcerer and master everything you attempt. Yes, who doesn't like that, right? And then the third one we have, look at her and her little cell phone. I believe this is the, the selfie, the social media queen, the selfie girl. Here she says, I will watch over your self-confidence and ensure you always show your good side, okay? So especially if you are in the public eye and everything. All right, so go ahead and pick your little voodoo doll and we will begin. So let me go ahead and put these babies over here and we're going to begin with the fairy godmother. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set her down over here. I will go ahead and shuffle the cards and lay them down and then we will turn them around. Okay, so if I can have somebody to timestamp these, I will truly, truly appreciate you. For all that you do, darling, and then energy exchange, good vibes. All right, first deck we're using. This is the Sugar and Spice Oracle, a little naughty, a little nice, by Celestial Forecast by Carrie, okay? So let's go ahead and get a card for pile number one. We'll get one, one card each from each deck that we'll use. Pile number one. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Oh, you got two. Okay, so we'll leave that down. Ooh, there's a lot of energy in these cards. All right, we'll leave that here. Second deck. This is from Maruk. Okay, I forgot the name of this deck. Um, crap, I forgot the name of this deck. <laughs> but the creator, uh, her name is Maruk on Etsy. Okay, she has a lot of amazing decks makes it hard when you know the name's not on the deck let's see here pile number two My, one why did i say two damn maybe pile number two might resonate with pile number one <laughs> on some type of level okay so let's set that down then we're gonna pull from my self-love spiritual reminders deck this is one that i created Ooh, that one flew out right away. Set that down. Thank you very much. And then we will pull from this tarot deck. It's called uh, the Modern Girls Tarot. Okay, but uh, I don't know who the creator is. Le, uh, Femme La Floral Tarot from Modern... Modern Girls Tarot. I don't know if that's the uh, actual name of the person, but here's the information if you want to screenshot it and look her up. Okay, so let's get a card for this pile. Thank you. Oh, you got a few of them. Interesting. Oh, Lord, you got three. All right, now we're gonna pull some from the, I believe this is like the, uh, it's like a candy or a chocolate oracle. So let's go ahead and get them 
messages. Oh, actually, I have the box. Here it is, the Chocolate Lovers Messages cards. That's that's what we're using. <laughs> and we're going to be using all the same decks for every single one, so that way I don't have to keep naming them. Okay, let's get a card here, message. Ooh, you got dark. All right, now we're gonna pull some from the Pinup Oracle deck. And um, you can also find these on Etsy. Again, there's no name on there. Okie dokie. Then we're gonna pull one from my Hustle deck. This Hustle deck is the one I created. So it's a money and career advice type of deck. Number one, please. For my fairy godmother pickers. Ooh, you got three. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Last but not least, this is the Tea Leaf Oracle. Huge old deck. Let's see what message. There you go. There it is. Oop, there it is. All right. All right, here we go. This is where the reading began. So let's go ahead and flip them over. You got the bird flying. And you have the high priestess. Look how beautiful that is. We also have the sun, happiness. We also have, what is this? The nine of swords, anxiety and worry. Interesting. Okay, I'll put these here. Okay, you are beautiful no matter what you look like. So if you have been feeling self-conscious, could be linked up to the Nine of Swords. Maybe you're worried about your looks, your health, your appearance. Um, and Spirit's like, listen, listen, honey, you are beautiful no matter what you look like. You can be cute and look like a bum, okay? <laughs> as long as, no matter what you look like, if you have that confidence of I'm still cute no matter what, Honey, people are, it's going to be a, 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 per, uh, a reflection of how you're feeling and what you think of yourself. And then with the bird flying, it says news is on the way. I feel like this is going to be good news. It could be connected to the sun card, happiness. So whatever you were worried about, okay, you could be having amazing news on its way to you. And look at that beautiful rainbow in the background. I love it. I love it. The high priestess, intuitive. You could be a very intuitive person, or maybe it's telling you to follow your intuition. And really, I'm hearing, um, okay, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Have more faith and trust in what you're being shown and what you are feeling when it comes to these intuitive downloads and feelings and stuff like that. Because I have a feeling you have a hard time trusting what you're feeling. And that could really get to you. Someone overthinks a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and that could, that could really drain you and stress you the fuck out. You know, so just be very mindful of the um, energies and the intuitive downloads that you are receiving. Because it's it could be coming in. Uh, from spirit and in, in the universe on what your next move is going to be You were worried about a situation you didn't see yourself out of or your next step or if you should do this or you should say that a Message good news. It's on its way. Okay, and maybe you felt something coming And you're like, oh no, it could be an opportunity and you're like, how, how am I gonna look, you know, my appearance or it could be anything like that so we also have the dark card dark chocolate shadow self okay here oh why they got to be so tiny though <laughs> so it says it is time to embrace your shadow self illuminate the darker side of your nature by allowing some light to flow in it's time to free yourself from the past bitterness hurt and resentment you can make sense of the chaos surrender pain and heal Question your belief systems, 
What is holding you back? Why are you here? Why did you create your current situation? Is it now time to be more personally accountable? I only hold positive thoughts. My actions are a pure intent. You, that is, ooh, I like that. You must have needed to hear this, boo-boo, right? You must have needed to hear it. Okay, so we are gonna flip these babies over. You got honey and the star anise. Star anise, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, it always reminds me of my, my name. Anyway, so, oh shit, I fucked it up. So let's read the honey card. It says, I learned about the birds and the bees. Oh, look at that, we have a bird here too. I learned about the birds and the bees a long time ago. All I know is that when it comes to love, romance, the chemistry, the attraction, the intimacy, the magic, it takes time. Not all of us are meant to find the right one. But if and when you do, it's such an intensely sweet moment. It may just take your breath away. Let me be your honey. Oh, and it's just like honey when your love comes over me. You know that song is about jizz, right? <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding. Mariah Carey is a trip. You know that song is about jizz. Why do I know this? Because you know she is my idol. I know everything about that lady. So, <laughs> oh, so now we have Star Anise. I'm not giving up on us. I believe in you and me. Please tell me there's still hope to bring back what we once had. Even though it has been a while, I still feel so drawn to you. You will forever be a part of my heart. You are my shining star. <gasps> so for those that are in separation from their person, this is someone you just can't let go of, right? Can't let go. Uh-huh, another MC song. Um, this is someone you can't let go of. It could really very much mean that you lost hope in this person's return as well. If it's a twin flame or a soulmate. And um, it could be that this person reaches out to you unexpectedly. Maybe your intuition has been telling you like, hey, prepare. You're getting all these intuitive downloads of this person returning. And now you're like worried. Oh my God, I let myself go or I need to work out. I'm not in my best, you know, appearance. I have, you know, been feeling down. I lost faith. So I let, you know, a little part of me go. You could always snap back to that confident side of you, your, your self-love, your self-care, that energy of, I'm a fucking hot bitch, you know? So whatever you're worried about, whatever has you in your anxiety, you're shaking and shit. Honey, all that is going to turn into bliss. Once you get that honey, huh? Ah! <laughs> and it's just, look at you all happy. Like honey. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. So what do, what do we have here? Growing steady progress. Listen, listen, honey. Okay, we're constantly growing, we're constantly shifting. How often are you watering yourself? Are you nurturing yourself? Are you taking care of yourself? Look at yourself as if you were your own house plant. Are you going to let yourself dry up? Are you constantly talking to yourself and singing to yourself and, you know, giving the nutrients that you need? Like, honey. Steady progress, a little at a time. You know, I don't know why I'm picking up Aries energy too. It could be Virgo too, but um, I don't really want to focus on the signs. I'm also seeing Aquarius. I don't really want to focus on the signs, but yeah, no, some people like it, so I'll do it for y'all. What do we have here? Look deeper. Things are not always as they appear. Take a closer look. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have the High Priestess as well. Take a closer look, honey. So if you are, and I feel like this could also be connected to the whole the shadow work. You know what I mean? That we, that we were talking about earlier. Um, you could be thinking something and then you overthinking and overanalyzing can put a whole different perspective and shit on a situation. And it's like, look, just look deeper. Pay attention to what you're feeling. That's the truth. Okay, that's the truth. Um, also look deeper into a situation that has you questioning things or has you very anxious. Um, that way you're not feeling lost. Someone has like a foggy, foggy brain. 
someone hasn't been sleeping very well either especially with the nine of swords here someone could have a cat you're like you talk to your cat a lot you're like you're my friend your cat knows all your secrets <laughs> your pet your animal your iguana whatever you've got honey <laughs> it knows all your secrets okay <laughs> so let's see what messages do we have here we have bad investment uh-oh fake it till you make it and lawsuit oh shit maybe that's what you're stressed out and worried about you're like oh my god they're gonna sue me and it's like look it's not what it seems everything's gonna be fine you could get an email or something stating that you know it's probably not what it seems or what you're perceiving it to be um either you're you feel like you're gonna get sued and maybe that's not the case or maybe you are you know afraid to sue somebody you know what I mean? Follow your intuition. Okay? Follow it, bubba. Fake it till you make it. Fake it, fake it till you make it. Sometimes this works for some. Other times it does not work for shit. So sometimes you just got to tell yourself, I am that. I am. I am rich. I am wealthy. Um, having, having that mentality of whatever it is that you want to manifest will literally make it happen. You gotta make it happen. I just saw 619. So I don't know if that number is very significant for somebody, okay? Um, we also have bad investments. So be careful what you're spending your money on, okay? Because you don't wanna be like, yes, spend a swipe or no swiping, swipe or no swiping, just like Dora says. <laughs> uh, you don't wanna regret it later on with the Nine of Swords, just saying. Don't invest in things that are not gonna bring in that money, honey. Yes, it's good to indulge and stuff like that, but just be very mindful what you're throwing your money into, okay? Okay, good, good. All right, so that was for pile number one. I wanna keep it, you know, short and sweet. Was that short and sweet? I don't know. <laughs> I felt like that, that took a long time. <laughs> All right, let's put this back. Whoop. Fly like a bird, take to the sky. All right, so goodbye, fairy godmother. I wish you all the magical things. All right, so now we have the whiz. Whiz, the homie whiz. What's up, homie? Okay. <laughs> oh, all right, for pile number two, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of all. Do, 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 do. Interesting. Follow the yellow brick road. You're almost home. Someone feels lost. Someone feels like they have to go to a specific someone for to solve all their issues and problems. And it's like, hey, remember the wizard from the Wizard of Oz was fake as fuck. So be very careful. Things could not be what they seem. Maybe that's why in pile number one, I said pile two on accident. So. That could be linked up in some type of way. All right, let's see. Ooh, wasn't supposed to turn it around yet. Ooh, ooh. Oopsie. Now I can't stop thinking of that song. <gasps> Maybe you have a wicked witch coming to steal your power. Remember, you have the power all along, Dorothy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, you are the wizard. You are your own magical creature. You don't need anybody or give your power away to anybody. Find your way back home. Okay, right there. Follow the yellow brick road. That to me is follow your own inner guidance. Mm-hmm. Maybe you got little munchkins. They could represent children. Little munchkins. Oh man, now I wanna see the Wizard of Oz. Something flipped. Oh, it's the book. <laughs> I accidentally picked it up. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Oh, and there's two, okay. There's two. Let's get the chocolate. Mmm. I 
I don't want it to come out. You could tell. And hustle. Don't let the scarecrow confuse you on the path that you need to take. Because that person's lost themselves. In fact, you're meant to help that scarecrow. Okay, yeah, we're speaking Wizard of Oz term now. <laughs> Wizard of Oz language. All right, last deck. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. You got two. All right, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, making sure. First two cards we have. You got the bird again. News is on its way. And we also have wind chimes, peace and harmony. Oh, I love the, the sound of wind chimes. <gasps> I need to buy me one. I used to have some all the time. Okay, what do we have? The emperor and the hierophant. What? The divine masculine. And look at this, the hierophant. <gasps> Values and tradition. Ooh. Ooh. What? What does this mean? Romance. And progress. Oh my God! The Wizard of Oz. Remember how there was a, a, a hot air balloon in the great and powerful Oz movie? Mm hmm. Not the. Um, was there one in the Wizard of Oz? It was the movie, The Great and Powerful Oz, which had the hot air balloon. It says, You are moving up in life. The whole world is opening up to you. See? A whole new world is opening up to you. Just like, I have a feeling I'm not in Kansas anymore. You are time, honey, you are jumping timelines. And romance, romance is here, honey. Boom, 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 boom. Someone's getting a second chance. It says, be in love and be forgiving. So this higher love can come to be. Higher love can come to be. Girl, boy, whoever you are. I mean, hello, hello. And then the wind chimes, peace and harmony within a love connection and within yourself. Make peace with your inner, with, with your, with your hurts, your pain, your past. So this love can come. Maybe you need to forgive somebody or they need to forgive you, whatever the case may be. Okay. What's your uh, chocolate? We have chocolate fountain. <gasps> Abundance. Oh, I love that. Yes, honey. I just want to put a little like strawberry in there don't you want okay so it says this card affirms that despite how things may feel life is overflowing with abundance your hard work has paid off and now is your time to reap the rewards physically emotionally and spiritually you are on top of the world embrace the incoming tide of positive energy Go with the flow, accept blessings with gratitude, and know that you are brimming with abundance and good fortune. And there is an affirmation. Abundance is all around me. Abundance is my natural birthright. <gasps> Damn, pile number two. Oh, snap. Who said you needed a, a, a motherfucking wizard for that? You manifested this. This is something you probably manifested. Espresso. It says, I can't stop shaking. I can't sleep. I'm so down, lost without you. I'm anxious, overwhelmed. I can't think straight since you've been gone. Everything has turned upside down in my life. Please come back. My heart can't take it anymore. <gasps> you see how it's linked up to the someone needs to um, be, someone needs to forgive. It's like, I can't take it anymore. I need to be with you. And maybe you needed to learn how to fly. Maybe you needed to learn how to find your own way. Something's about to like have a boost of energy, just like espresso. Like it gives you that boost of energy. And because we have the bird, it's up in the air. We have the hot air balloon. It's up in the air. We have the wind chimes. We need the air. I'm hearing winds of change. And that has a lot to do with a love interest. Look at the two lanterns here, finding your way back to each other. The emperor, someone is at, you know, they're complete within them, the feminine and masculine energy. 
This is union with the divine masculine. I love that. Light, free spirit. Look at that. She looks like she's flying. <laughs> oh my God. Look, you could be an air sign too watching, you know. You're a free spirit. Fly, fly like a bird. I want to fly away. Oh my God. Abundance mentality. Yeah, this is something you met. Look, if you were in this energy where you're like, oh my God, I, I can't sleep at night. When you are on my mind, Bobby Watt Max on the radio, singing to me if you think you'll... Okay, I have a song for everything. But anyways, yeah, think abundance. Look at how they're like meditating on uh, positivity, having that abundance mentality, thinking happy thoughts. You know, this is like Dorothy tapping her red heels and manifesting her way back home this is you manifesting yourself back into union back into abundance back into the place of pure fulfillment and happiness so fly baby fly i love it last card it says make it happen girl shock everyone <gasps> you gotta make it happen oh yeah i know life can be so tough and you feel like giving up but you must hold on, baby, just... Oh, wait. But you must hold on. <laughs> I forgot the lyrics. Don't come for me. Anyways, you know what I mean. Okay, so that was nice. Ooh, this was a nice message. <gasps> I like this. You're being protected, too. Look at, look at the eye right here. Oh, my gosh. You are lit. Uh, this feels like you literally didn't like the energy you were in, or the lifestyle that you had, or a situation that you just wanted to, or a bit like a visual that you saw yourself in. And it's like, hey, make it happen, take that leap. And then one morning you wake up and you're like, I have a feeling I'm not in Kansas anymore. Those fears were all an illusion. Somebody needs to watch The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and I love how the fountain represents abundance, right? And then we have abundance mentality. Oh, honey, good things are coming for you. Somebody drinks nothing but espresso. <laughs> hey, we need to have coffee one day. <laughs> All right, for, that was for pile number two. Beautiful messages. I like it. Thank you, spirit. That was awesome. Like the little storyline that they had, you know? You know what I mean, Chilibi? Okay, thank you, wizard. Bye-bye, Jolins. See you on the next train. Okay, so the selfie queen. Hello. All right, if this is the pile, or this is the voodoo doll that you picked. Let's get your messages. worried about their appearance as well like how they're being seen online you're worried about how the world sees you even though you're very it's like you're very confident about yourself you're you know you're good looking you have good things going you could have like your social media platform and everything but you could be a little worried about how you're being judged so you're gonna you're gonna have a switch that ha that switches there's going to be a switch where you're going to start setting some really strong firm boundaries okay maybe boundaries need to be set right now somebody's also getting a full makeover it could also be like a mommy makeover could also be like surgery it could also be changing your hair i'm picking that up someone is like really really desiring uh, appearance a change of appearance I'm 
some oriental music. Oriental music? For sure, for sure. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, amor. So let's see what we have for you. The hammock and the fox. Okay, so the fox, it says, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Ooh, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. I feel like I gotta read that one. I'll read it in a bit. We have hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. Maybe this is something that you need, okay? I'm gonna read the fox one because I feel like you'll better understand it if I read the, the good thing is not freaking long at all. I like that they made it like really short. Maybe you're a hot, sexy fox. Here's the fox. I found the fox. Okay. So, oh, look, it's on page 69. Okay, I'm nasty. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business, a red fox, uh, partially hidden by bushes, scans the countryside. The fox is a cunning, daring hunter, knowing when to take chances and when to lie down, which is funny, right? Needing to, needing a vacation, needing to lie down, um, or needing to lie low. This symbol indicates that the chorus will be inspired goodness and resourcefulness of the fox during the time frame shown. Time frame shown, what time frame shown? Maybe around the time that this is happening. Somebody, I feel like somebody's going to be inspired by you. And someone could be watching you from a distance or paying attention to how you are doing things online, your business and everything. They could have, they could be a little cunning, so be careful. Maybe they're waiting for you to fuck up in a way. You know what to dabble in. You know what dramas to not dabble in and to, and to stay away from. Maybe you're tired of the drama and you need to lay low. Or maybe you're being asked to stay out of a certain business situation or an online situation. A social circle situation so that you don't get caught up in the, the mess or the drama. And when you do that, you will be looked as a type of inspiration. Hmm. Okay. What do we have here? Oop. Page of Cups. Imagination and dreams. Okay. Could be you trying to manifest something. Entangled and fun-loving. Too many obligations. Yeah. Don't get uh, caught up. Don't get caught up in the mess. Maybe you have uh, too many options. You don't want to get entangled in all the, don't get caught up in the web is what I'm hearing. Maybe it's the social media web. Maybe it's just online. We also have fun loving. This is you, fun and loving. You're all about the good times. Okay, you have certain dreams and goals for yourself. You are very creative. Your imagination runs wild. A lot of people can envy that about you and others can very much be inspired by that. You know when uh, you know when you have haters, you're doing something right, right? Right? Hustling, multiple resources, which is funny because what does the fox say? Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business, okay? You're hustling, you're out there, you're, you're doing your thing, you're being, people are inspiring you, people are hating, people could be munching. 
Maybe you're trying to take a break. But again, there is a sneaky fox that could be, ha you know, trying to scam you in some type of way. Look, it says avoid money schemes, especially get rich fast schemes. Like, hey, I got a business offer for you. Someone's trying to scheme. Maybe someone's scheming. You'll know what to engage in and what not to engage in. Don't get caught up in that shit, you know? Interesting how spirit works. Oh, you got two. We have wedding and congratulations. <gasps> what? It says family and celebration. Ah, oh, celebrate good time. Come on. It's a celebration. All right, let's read the wedding card. All right, wedding chocolate. A happy family life is around you, whether you are partnered or single. This card refers to refers to parents, siblings, children, and friendships. You are emotionally and spiritually fulfilled and love abounds. Live in the moment and seize the day. Carpe diem. Make sure you share the good energy you are radiating with those around you. Your personality is infectious at the moment and you are helping people who are feeling down without even realizing that you're doing it. Why? Because of your fun and loving energy. You bring the fun into everything that you do. Let's say you're a tarot reader and you're live and you're just you're just not having a good day or whatever, but you do your work and you connect to your circle and you feel good and you're like your personality shines through and you're healing others through your fun loving energy. And you don't even realize you're doing it. And some people could take advantage of that. So be very just be very careful. Okay, it says, I enjoy a happy family life. I am blessed with good family and friends and I share my love around. Okay, that's beautiful wedding. Good day for a white wedding. All right, so we have the congratulations chocolate success, a time of celebration, joy and fulfillment, a heartfelt congratulations for a job well done because you're doing what? Hustling making shit happen and then it says um this card does not demand or suggest much action other than inviting you to sit back and reap the rewards of your hard work enjoy the oh accolades and enjoy your achievements in style which is why we have hammock it's time to chillax take a moment to enjoy everything you worked hard for Everything that you put your time and energy into is coming to fruition. You're giving birth to everything that you are, you're creating. It's like you're marrying. If you were married to like your work, your career, your projects, this is like the round of applause now. You're walking down the aisle. Your work is being uh, inspired and congratulated and everything like that. But watch the sneaky little fox. Mm hmm. So the rest says, I now enjoy the success that I have rightfully earned. I celebrate my achievements and know I have done well. Yes, honey. Yes, you you need that. Well, you need a mimosa, <laughs> a bottle of wine, a bottle of tequila, whatever is your poison, honey. OK, remember to embrace and enjoy everything you worked hard for. All right, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't hate, motivate, honey. Yes, I told you, you have your motivators and you got your haters. Listen, listen, you've also learned, okay? You've also learned not to be jealous of other people's work. You had to focus on your own, right? And some people get inspired through jealousy. I call it the motive, the jealous, the jealousy. What did, what did I call it last time? Um, the motivational jealousy push where you start to feel like a, 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 some type of like insecure slash competition slash fuck that. I gotta, I gotta do better. I got to push myself. And then when you do that, you just realize that it was just like, Maybe your higher self trying to fucking poke at you like, bitch, you better, you better do it. You better work, 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 work. And it served its purpose. Okay. 
Don't worry about what the fuck that person is putting in their lawn. You worry about your own garden, right? So here we have pancakes. Air, ooh, this represents air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. It says, I love how simple and uncomplicated our love is. Our conversations are pretty light. Nothing too heavy. I can still taste your sweet kisses. You know how to tantalize and satisfy me without a single word. You are sheer perfection, and I can't get enough of you. <gasps> Damn! who is this you could be an air sign or someone you're dealing with could be an air sign for some of you guys are probably getting married soon right which is why we had those cards oh shit did i pull cards for yeah i did it was this one i was like wait did i miss this oh my god okay so the last two cards we have home and practicality capricorn and we have cancer so you could be either one of those signs. Here it says, be rooted and practical. Capture the essentials of a situation or a person. Okay. And then the home, your energy is precious. Give yourself and your home some TLC. Your energy is precious. Yes, honey. Give it some well tea. Some tender loving care. And for yourself too. Kick back, kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party and down with Anais. Just kick it. No. <laughs> Just kick it. Just kick it. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, my amores. That's the message that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little Picard voodoo style reading. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, my personal readings are open. Okay, a lot of people still think that my personal readings are closed because I had COVID, but nah, honey, uh-uh, the hustle don't end. So if you want to book a personal reading, you can email me or hit me up on social media. All that information is down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at firewitchtarot or fire.witch.tarot. And same thing on TikTok, firewitchtarot. All right, my loves. Oh, also, I also have a Valentine's Day coupon in my Etsy shop, okay? And yeah, so you can get some moolah off. And I have three new decks that I will be um, announcing in my Etsy shop. I already posted a preview on, my, on TikTok and on Instagram if you guys want to check out my three new decks. And yeah, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.